How close are you with the vision of Scotty Montgomery? When you guys look at the tape, do you guys see the same thing? Yeah, uh, we've definitely got on the same page. At first, it was a little different because I had, I, I still have different t terminology for what he calls things and what I've called things, but just adjusting and getting on the same page in that regards has gone well. And uh, I say, yeah, we're on the same page. Uh, I was here, uh, healed pretty early in the spring, um, so like probably around February, I could have been full go. Uh, so that, it's all good. It hasn't bothered me since. When did, when did you find out you were the starter? Um, uh, what, Sunday. So um, he sat me a big down, and then the next day in the team meeting, he talked to the whole team. So you guys were together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, he was basically just uh, gave us like how we ranked and how uh, the statistics of camp went, and saying that um, Piggy still has a very big role on this team because he does. He's a leader, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if he had a package or something on board because he's a great athlete as well. So it was very good, uh, good talk. I'm glad that we were together for it, and uh, I think it went well. It's interesting you said leader, because when you talk to the other players, most of them say that you have leadership. Is that something that just comes with the package, or is that something you have to try to be um, as a leader? It's, <clears throat> it's definitely new, uh, being a, a leader, going into a new, uh, like, you know, new team. Like, it's, it's, it's difficult. Um, you got to uh, earn the trust of your teammates, and then from there you can try to uh, lead them. But it's different. Um, at Tech, I was a captain or a voter captain as a sophomore, and um, those guys knew me and I knew them, and like I, I knew like how to lead them. This is a little bit different. It's a whole new group of guys, but I say that I've done a decent job on being a leader, so I continue to get better than that. With your dad in coaching, how long have you studied football? Uh, probably since like elementary school. Um, I used to be in his meetings with like a little notebook, writing down plays and stuff like that, and even though it didn't mean much to me, but I still uh, would be in his meetings trying to learn. So. Loxley said this isn't a situation where you're going to be looking over your shoulder to see if, you know, different guys coming up to take the job as a quarterback. Does that give you comfort or confidence in yourself? Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they believe in me, so that's nice, but that still doesn't mean I can't go out there and, you know, get fooled. Like, you gotta you got to play well. You got to make the right decisions. You got to take care of the ball. So, I mean, that's nice to hear, but at, at the end of the day, it doesn't. I mean, that's not too much on my mind. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. In coming to the Jack Litch uh, Law Group office, I felt very at ease. Um, I was treated very kindly, and I felt that this is the person that I wanted to work with. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. Call the big dogs, the Jack Lynch Law Group. Were you happy with the competition you got with Piggy and with the other guys um, over, in terms of improving, as opposed to if you had been told from the start of the camp Oh, oh yeah, no, absolutely. I wouldn't want anything handed to me. Um, I think it was a very good competition between all of us. Uh, we all competed, we all got better, and I'm um, very happy for how it um, worked out. But no, I definitely wouldn't have wanted him to just hand me the job. I don't think that's fair to anybody on the team, and um, I'm glad it did not go about that way. As you see this offense have the potential to be very explicit, both passing and running? You doing the uh, run pass option, everything. Yeah, I see. Um, I mean, this offense has a lot of weapons uh, when it comes to running backs, to receivers, tight ends. Everybody can contribute. So I think uh, we have a chance to surprise a lot of people because we're going to have a great offense. Does it still feel new at this point? Yeah, you, you didn't get here, you know, rolling as a freshman again. You know, so have you been, you know, Jimmy Tech coming here? Do you feel like you're a Terp? You're, this is your team. You're the leader of it. Or does it still feel? I'm not sure yet. No, I, I would say after camp, yeah, I, I feel um, definitely like I'm a turf, you know, and I'm leader of this offense and this team, and um, I got to continue to get better at that. But overall, um, I definitely say I've adjusted well and everything's going good so far. So. Not saying one's better than the other, but the biggest difference between the offense that you ran at Virginia Tech and the one here from a quarterback's perspective and what's um, I would just say, uh, yeah, not saying one's better or 
or the other, but just I don't run the ball as much, which I don't have a problem with. So um, that's kind of the only difference, maybe a little difference with the RPOs, um, a little with the passing game. But overall, it's pretty similar, and that's why I was kind of, it was a lot easier to um, pick up than I thought it would be. Hey, Josh, Coach said uh, it's not Alabama offense, it's a Maryland offense mm-hmm. now. Uh, how is it unique to you? What, uh, you know, how is this Maryland's offense? I mean, it's Maryland's offense because you see the guys that are in the backfield, you see the, the young receiving core that's going to have a great effect um, on, on defenses, and the tight ends that we have are really, really talented. So it's definitely Maryland's offense. It might be coming from Alabama, but uh, I think we're going to have our own twist on it and hopefully make it very good.